Welcome to PC Wits Kids Tech Talk. Today I wanted to talk about Firefox 3. If you haven't made the switch yet to Firefox or you're using Firefox 2 and thinking about upgrading to Firefox 3, let's go ahead and review it a little bit and then you can get an idea whether or not this browser is better and if you decided that you want to go ahead and try it. So as you can see here I'm running version 3 of Firefox. I have also version 2 installed at the same time. I installed them in different folders. and. Um, one of the first things I did after I installed it was check out my blog. I wanted to make sure that uh, the web page looked the same as it did in version 2 of Firefox. And it did. There was no real difference. It loaded fast. The second thing I did was go to my YouTube channel to see if I can view everything okay. Well, I couldn't. The Flash plugin was not actually enabled in version 3. So surprisingly enough, uh, I had to go ahead and manually install it. Okay, It wouldn't uh, install automatically. As you can see here, it says missing plugins, and if you go ahead and try to install it, it, it wouldn't install it. So that's one thing I had to do. And uh, the other thing that uh, I wanted to check, of course, was the themes, right? So I noticed right off the bat that the default theme was enabled and not the new add-ons, uh, the previous add-ons that I had. So the blue ice theme that I had was not compatible with version 3 of Firefox. So that's another thing that I'll have to do is go ahead and download a new theme that's similar to that one. Okay, so with respect to the Flash uh, plugin though, uh, like I mentioned, you have to go manually to the Adobe Flash website, download the plugin, run it, and of course restart your computer because it wouldn't install it automatically. Okay, so when you get to that screen here, you just click on manual install, it automatically opens up the Adobe page and then click on install from there and then install the update. Okay, so obviously after I installed the update and restarted um, Firefox, the first thing I did was to go back to the YouTube channel and make sure that the Flash video flash was working there and as you can see it is now working so that's um, done not too uh, difficult to do it's just a little bit of a hassle but that's okay then the other uh, thing I did was of course to check the menus check the, the to see if there was anything else that was different and from the menu point of view and the options available that was pretty much all the same so from the surface here visually that was still the same so the only thing I had to do was really go and change the theme right so now let's talk about the uh, themes and the add-ons a little bit so on the um, add-ons portion of it my add-ons were pretty much working okay except for the theme so I already had some other add-ons in there for like no script and the ad uh, blocker that was working fine my grease monkey um, add-on was also working fine so uh, pretty much it was just the themes so um, I went to get new updates and check them out and see what was available for version 3 in case it was something new and there's a couple of recommended add-ons there that you can uh, look into and see if you want any of those uh, I use Gmail so I was looking to see if there was something new or something supported in version 3 of Firefox relating to Gmail so I went to browse all the add-ons and I found better Gmail 2 okay so there's an example of an add-on that allows you to um, show or hide options in, in Gmail that you might want more detail or less detail on, uh, enable certain macros and key combinations and of course uh, it also has uh, skins so you can change the look and feel of, um, of Gmail itself. Okay, so. I enabled a few options here because I wanted to get more details and display certain options when I get my Gmail. And then I tried uh, out the skins to see, okay, what skin, uh, uh, what look and feel could uh, be neat. And then I tried the redesigned uh, skin, and that's what it looks like. So when you select that and refresh your Gmail, you'll immediately see the new skin here. Okay, so. Um, that's pretty neat. Uh, that's a quick little add-on there that worked in version 3 of Firefox. And now, of course, uh, after I installed that, I went to the themes. Okay, now let's see what themes do we have, right? We're looking for a theme that was similar to what I had before and that is available for version 3. So I looked for a theme that had the green Add to Firefox button. And uh, the arrow here, Silver Firefox, has a green button. I can install that one. 
or there's the aqua tint okay yeah I like the aqua tint that's closer to what I had before and there's a redone version so um, I'll go ahead and install that one that one's pretty much close to to my previous version so I added that one the same way I added them earlier in Firefox 2 and that installed uh, easily as expected no problems there and uh, after it installed I just restarted Firefox and checked out the uh, new uh, interface for it and uh, the buttons yep that looks pretty much the same as I had earlier so that's not too bad and uh, another neat little feature is the enhanced history in Firefox 3 okay so in Firefox 3 here in the URL field where I have my uh, blog URL if I erase that and just type in a keyword like PC WizKid it'll scan your previous visited sites right so it could be something you have bookmarked already or, or a site that you've already previously visited and uh, you you can actually quickly click on one of those and get there or if you don't have it bookmarked you can click on those yellow stars on the side to add it to your bookmarks so I like that little quick enhanced feature so if you're interested in Firefox 3 by all means Google Firefox 3 download and uh, visit the Mozilla website and try it out enjoy and thank you for watching